Hello, Swerbe. And this time we have a nice job here. This is like a desktop motherboard. It's an all-in-one uh, PC motherboard, which has like a normal CPU. So uh, we have an interesting job here. The customer sent me only the motherboard. So what the customer is saying, the customer is saying the computer working on some point, uh, the next day, the computer hasn't started. So let's have a look what the customer sent us here. So we have the charging port. Okay, that's strange because the customer said he put the power button. Okay, let me try to find the power button. One second. Okay, that's really strange because I cannot find the power button. So I have the charging port. I have the charging port, but not the power button. So it's no power button. So I believe the customer forgot to put the power button. So what do you think about the board? I mean, it looks fine. Huh? This is a nice board with a nice socket. I can't see bent pins there. But you see, that's a board where actually you can replace the CPU if the CPU is getting faulty. Yeah, so what do we have here? We have a we have a cheap uh, a GPU, probably NVIDIA. Yeah, this is a nice Dell board. It's a Dell Inspiron 777 uh, all-in-one series. Four sevens, yeah? Good. So I will say, let's try and fix it. So let's plug the charging port. And let's see what this is doing. Before we are starting, today video sponsor is PCBWay. PCBWay is one-stop solution based on the fact they have all kinds of PCBs. 3D printing, CNC, she metals, uh, all are available on their website. Now you'll find a link on the description to have a look on their website. Now the beauty is, if you register on this website, you have $5 gift, which is about 10 boards. So actually you can order 10 PCBs for free. All you have to do is to pay for the postage. Now the question is, I will gonna use uh, the PCB way, and the answer is very simple. Yes. So we start uh, with the electronics on the other channel, learning electronics. You remember? So instead of buying electronic kits, yeah, because that's why I was buying electronic kits because you know the board is the hard part. Components. We all have components. So instead of buying electronic kits. I will just, you know, order the PCB and solder the components and uh, it will be the same thing. Okay, so don't forget, you can have a link onto the video description and uh, check their website. Now let's go back to our board. Let me plug a charger. No, I don't want to plug the customer charger. The customer charger, the customer charger is crazy, it's insane. 180 watts. So it's about 10, uh, 10 amps charger. So you remember we said we cannot diagnose things with like 10 amp charger. Every mistake, it will be like the last one. So let me plug the power supply. We have our power supply. Let me find an adapter. Yeah, it's hard to say if it's HP or Dell, but she'll do the job. So let's switch the power supply to 19 volts. Plug in the power. And it's taking 60, 70 milliamps, that's not right. Uh, on a power on a motherboard, when the motherboard is off, all what it's on is the 3.3 .3 volts power supply, which is supplying power to the EC chip. So we have like 70 milliamps and doesn't look good. Yeah, doesn't look good at all. Now, what do we have here? Where is the EC chip? Because most likely, this one, I believe we are dealing with a dead EC chip. It's not that one, but something else. 
Yeah, SMCS. Yeah, that's the one. And the chief set. Check here. You have the chief set here. No, it's not warm. Uh, let me grab the thermal camera because what is taking 70 milliamps, we should see it on the thermal camera. Okay, let's wait one second. This is a proper nice motherboard. So you have two HDMI, you have a bunch of USB, you have a network card. This is the hard drive? Oh, this is the SSD, right? Yeah, it must be. Hmm? Okay, so with the thermal camera, what we can see. Oh, lol. Oh? What is here? So whatever is here, yeah, it is hot, but it's not on this side of the board. Must be on the other side. Let's have a look together. Huh? So what do you think? We have, we have two transistors, like normal transistors, which wow, they are mad hot. Okay, so that's the input circuit, I can see it now, yeah, and the next MOSFET is probably on the serial mode with the, uh, it's on the serial mode with the power, so check here, the power connector, yeah, you see red, so this must be plus, plus, you see you have few inductors there, and then it's going to the MOSFET, and those two transistors are getting hot. Now, we don't have two MOSFETs on this board from a simple reason, we don't have battery. Oh yeah, we do have. Oh, lol, no. Okay, the MOSFETs are on a parallel mode, you can see. So you have one MOSFET here, and also we have a diode there, and we have one MOSFET here. So you see it has two MOSFETs on the parallel, but doesn't have the second MOSFET, which is not necessary if you don't have a battery on this board. So on this side of the board is fine, yeah, check there that current sensor. Check there. Yeah, check check here the, the current sensor. You see how big it is? So it's passing the current and uh, here it's outputting the... And look where it's going. It's going to a small uh, chip. Yeah. So we have a MOSFET here. And from the MOSFET we have a diode and the diode can be that can be we're gonna check that so this diode is connected to ground you can see it's like a center diode in case the voltage is going uh, crazy up so here those transistors are getting hot and i don't understand why so we have the output yeah we have the charging port we have the inductors then we have one mosfet and from the output of the mosfet Wait, what is this solution here? You can see? So some, this has liquid damage. Huh? Wait, what is with this liquid there? Or someone work on this board? I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but there is liquid. Let me power off the power supply. Let me dry. Okay, so what do we have here? Yeah, let's check together. I will get the multimeter. Why those two transistors are getting hot? Hmm? What is the reason? So we have ground. So the ground is here, right? 
it must be this one yeah and we have the input and check on the screen the input we have 19 volts and on the output we have nothing we have zero volts you can see now how those transistors are getting hot if here we have zero volts that's a good question anyway you can uh, spot anything weird on this mosfet hmm? we have three pins together on the input that means it's a channel p mosfet and on the gate we have 19.6 now you see on the channel p mosfet the voltage here has to be lower compared with this one with the with the source so if we have 19 that's mean the mosfet it will not drive the power so in order to drive the power it has to be at least probably six volts lower good let me disconnect the charger let's go with the multimeter so with the multimeter so here is fine check on the screen zero ohms i mean like literally zero it's exactly the yeah it's exactly the multimeter resistor probably 0 0.1 ohms you can see so i will say the main power rail is shorted where do we check the main power rail very simple we have those capacitors you can see we have dual mosfets so those are the cpu power supplies and we have dual mosfets and we have capacitors let's come with some current hmm? what do you think let's come with some current i'll get the power supply uh, i'll let the charger because the charger it will give me the ground let's lower the voltage oh about one volt a bunch of amps so coming with the power supply after the mosfet is yeah check that 2.6 amps let's hire the current You know my power supply. Yeah, like 2.6 amps, but you cannot check here. You remember from here you have the current sensor, and after that is going to the main power rail. So I'm gonna check here. So here we have 3.2 amps, 009, and here one volt. Okay, so here is the plus 2.6 amps. So this board is taking 2.6 amps with one volt. Let me grab the thermal camera. Now, if it's a dead MOSFET, you know, what does even matter? You have a swappable CPU. It doesn't matter. Replace the MOSFET, replace the CPU, and all good. There must be a capacitor. Oh, 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 what is there? What is there? Oh, lol. Okay, okay, okay. So, can you spot the problem? Huh? You know, I'm just asking, can you spot the problem? You can't. Hmm? Can you spot the problem? We have an exploded capacitor, you can see there. It's exploded. Let's go under the microscope. Let's uh, replace the, the capacitor and uh, yeah, we are good to go. We can test the board. Huh? So what do you think about that capacitor? What happened with that capacitor? You see that's look how black is the board here you can see it so you see that's a reason why the laptop worked and the next day didn't work anymore the capacitor exploded okay of course we're gonna replace the capacitor though not in this video 
Do you remember? No capacitor, no shorter capacitor. <laughs> I make them a favor. If I replace the capacitor, the capacitor has is just another chance for uh, that capacitor to blow up or go shorted. I make them a favor. <laughs> Uh, okay, let's switch to 19 volts. I'm just joking. Of course, we're gonna replace the capacitor on another video. So the board is taking 400 milliamps, you can see. So the board just came on. Yeah, the chipset is getting hot. Yeah. Yeah, the board is working. So right now is nothing what I can do. You know, just uh, the board need a CPU. And that's all. So everything is fine. What do we have here? Here we have the GPU, which is on. Uh, what do we have more? Here we have the, we have one chip, which is on. We have power supply, which they are on. Uh, the CPU power supplies, they are on. But obviously, it's no CPU. Those power supplies, they are on. The chipset, it is on. The SMCS chip, uh, it is on, yeah? So the board, it's up and running. We can check the voltage on the power supplies. But obviously the board, it will get stuck without the CPU. It cannot pass the test. We don't have the CPU and RAM memory, right? Yeah, RAM memory is missing also. But the fault was clear, I mean, it's not like, okay, this is one fault and then you have another fault. No. Was a shorter capacitor on the main power rail. So here you have one volt. Maybe you have this board and you want to know the voltage. You see, yeah? here you have one volt. If you're looking to program the BIOS chip, you have 3.3 volts. Then here we have 5 volts. Then here we have 3.3 volts. Then here you have 1.8, here you have 1.8 volts, okay, so here you have 1.5 volts, I'm not sure for 1.5, probably for VRAM, right? Yeah, probably. And here you have 1 volt, so here you have 1 volt. And here you have one volt. So if you have a dead uh, power supply, you can use just one wire to carry the one volt and you solve the problem. Hmm? Okay. Okay. This was an easy job because all what we had was a blow up capacitor. You can see this one. Oh, yeah, you can see. The thing I didn't spot it, but yeah, maybe it's a good idea just to analyze the board before you start. I mean, yeah, it was kind of tricky, you know, it was like, like a lot of white and black here, so hard to be seen. But yeah, it's making sense why the computer died. Okay, so I'll stop now. I'll say thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video, like always, and uh, see you on the next one. Bye.